five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex Bennett and this is The Ramble. We go from now until midnight, until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Okay, let's go ladies and gentlemen out to California and the lovely ditties being sung by Larry Bubbles Brown. Yes, uh, as we, <laughs> this show might be interrupted by a uh, wildfire. So uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I, I the the wildfire. I have all my stuff in storage in Sonoma. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope it's insured. Well, it, it, I guess it is. I don't know. I but it's um, the last time there was a fire. Uh, it's in a. Um, it's in a storage facility that a friend of mine owns, or runs, rather. And um, he had moved all his stu- all my stuff from my old place into his, and which was a very nice thing of him to do. And then they had that fire last year. And the fire completely destroyed everything, 360 degrees, around the storage unit, but not the storage unit itself. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so cut to this week. I get a note from him because he does a show on, on um, GabNet. And he says he can't do a show for a couple of days because he's being evacuated. Yeah. So I'm, I'm figuring eh, I'm, if my stuff burns up, so what? So's my life. So, you know, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really matter. I mean, uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, stuff in there that's you know, has sentimental value, but what the hell, you know. Uh, Fires come, I always see these people going, oh, I lost everything in the fire, and I'm thinking, well, it's a good chance to start over, isn't it? Yeah, that was the, uh, you know, the Iroquois Indians used to uh, celebrate their New Year's by destroying everything they own, so maybe that's what we should do. I think, I think, you know, I mean, we, uh, we, we're kind of like snowballs or rolling down a hill. As we go through life, we gather all this stuff. You know, I remember I, I always like to use the story that when I moved from San Francisco to Houston, Texas, I packed the car with everything I owned, and it was in the trunk of the car and maybe a little bit of the back seat. Now it takes a whole van. Right. You know, it's like you keep acquiring this crap and acquiring this crap and acquiring this crap, and you never throw it out. I mean, I'm surprised that a little apartment of yours isn't just absolutely cluttered, that you you won't wind up on a hoarder show. Well, it would be, except I'm a, I've am always been kind of a minimalist, so I'm constantly throwing crap out. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So do, do I don't you, like to own stuff. Well, you know what I, what I do is I, I've kept my history and my history is on tapes um and uh, i have most of those tapes now i had them in storage and he's been shipping them out to me uh but still if if if, if that thing burns up i've lost all those tapes you know so what well the, the tapes i hope i hope those be saved because those would be pretty cool well i have about he says I have most of the boxes of the tapes at this point. Um, I, I need a few more, and that's it. But I don't. I, I sincerely doubt the place is going to burn down because I mean everything burned down around it, so that kind of prevents fires from like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, who knows? But uh, I hope my stuff is safe. And uh, it, I should probably start getting him to ship out more of the stuff, you know, to me, so that I at least have all my tapes and videotapes here. I don't care about anything else, you know. Uh, uh, how many hours of radio would you have on tape? I don't know. I've already I've got something like eight boxes 
of cassettes. Um, so that's quite a bit, you know. Uh, I've got them all in, in the closet here. Uh, but I mean, it, it, it's uh, some. Uh, I, I I don't know. You know, I mean, think about it. Th- what? Th- how many hours a day did I do at at uh, Live One Hundred and Five? Four hours a day, or three? You're hours? doing four hours a day, and then yeah. sometimes you'd go four and a half to five. Yeah, yeah well, let, let's say four hours a day. Over how many years was I there? Uh, you were there from eighty six to ninety seven. So eleven years. No, no, no. I was there. From 80, 79, 80, I think. Yeah. Because I went, remember, I went to KML first. Your Camel first, and then Live 105 was 86. No, right? but I was at the Quake. Quake before that, yeah. Yeah. So, how many hours is that for? for you know, I mean, uh, so how many, how many years are we talking? If it will be, it would be a, uh, let's see, if you did four hours a, a day, that would be a thousand hours a year, five days a week. Okay, so a uh, so thousand a year, uh, I was off for a short time, so how many years was I there from 19, what, about 1980, is it, did I say, or 19? 80 to uh, 97, and you're off for about, you weren't off for a full year, I don't think. Well, I was off for a short time when I left uh, the quake. And then I was off for about nine months when I left the other station. Let's take off two years just to shave, honestly. Okay? So so that'll be 15 years. That'll be 15,000 hours. 15,000 hours? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That would be a a lot of time. (laughs) Now let's add to it three hours a day from 2004. Four to 2003. So that's nine years times three hours a day. So three hours a day is 15 hours a week times what? Go do the times, math. You're good at this. Times 50. So uh, 15 times 50 it would be, uh, f- it would be seven, 750 hours a year. Mm-hmm. Times nine would be about sixty five hundred or so. Okay, so sixty five hundred. Now take sixty five hundred, add it to the what did we already have? Fifteen thousand. So now you're over twenty one thousand. Twenty one thousand hours of radio. <laughs> Most pilots don't have that much at flying time. So yeah, jeez, almighty, with twenty one thousand hours. That's unbelievable. Is that re- is are we right in our math? Well, you you're perfect in your math that way. Well, I'm just thinking because uh, if you work an eight hour job an eight hour day, that's two thousand hours a year. Mm-hmm. So you're doing four hours, so that's a thousand a year. Yeah. Wow. Well, I should advertise myself as over over twenty thousand hours on radio. Yeah. And then I did this. I did this podcast, and I've been doing, for the most part, two hours a day. Uh, but, but, but how many hours a week? Uh, two hours a day, uh, four like days a week, a week. Four, four days a week. So that's forty hours a week. No, that's not forty hours. Forty-two da- two hours a day, four days a week. That's uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. And so that's how much a year. 800. Eight, 800? Mm-hmm. 800 hours a year times, um, let me see here, times about six. 4,800. 4,800. So we add that to the 2,100? <laughs> now we're over 25,000. 5,000, 25,000 hours doing something. Jeez, oh my. I think it's time to quit, don't you? <laughs> I feel yes. I felt I should have quit years ago. Well, I'm having that uh, that uh, the, the urologist uh, thing on uh, on next Monday, so I'll probably I'll find out I have prostate cancer and then I'll die. <laughs> so, you know, you can even if you got it, you'll have 20 years. Uh, oh, really? You think so? No, yeah. You're, yeah. you're too uh, 
the aggressive stuff hits people younger. Mm. Well, I hope that's true. You know, I hope that's true. But anyway, you know. So I, you know, you know what? I've uh, maybe you can help. Now I'm going talking to the wrong guy for this. I've been going through a, an emotional crisis lately. <laughs> well, I have no emotions. <laughs> well, lacking any emotions, m- maybe he in well anyway. He, here, here's the emotional crisis. Everybody around me is dying. You know, or or uh, you know has had a close to death experience. You know, we know one. Yes, t- and uh, same here, and that's uh, that's. Very depressing. Yeah, and and now I don't know about you, but how do you how do you perceive of death? Are you afraid of it? Horrified, and Me then too. Uh, when your friends die, it uh, brings it closer to home. Yeah, well, I it gets you even closer to home when you're approaching eighty, and you know yeah. you're, you're well past your sell by date. I can't believe you're that old. Yeah, I can't believe it either. But I'm past my sell by date. So now, what's that going to do, you know? And, and uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, every morning I wake up and there's the Grim Reaper with his scythe behind me, you know, just waiting. <laughs> Lurking. <laughs> Lurking. How's that for being a depressed human being? <laughs> well, yeah, you get older, you can't help but think about it, right? Yeah, well, I know. But you know, you, you can't help but think about it. But uh, still, although I think Americans are in such denial of death, they actually push it out of their mind. I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't push it out of my mind. I, I've always had it in my mind all my life. Me but, too. But I, th- now that I've gotten this old and the inevitability is there, you know, I've always had this fear about, hey, we all have to die. But you know, I I I can't conceive of nothing existing. I know, folks. I know what you're saying. Well, there's a God and there's a heaven and there's Saint Peter at the pearly gates and he'll be waiting for you and say, "Come on in." But either that or Satan and he's going to go, "Come on in." Um, <laughs> you know, we're having quite hey, a man. we're having quite a party down here. I think you're going to enjoy it. You get blown every day. <laughs> By a blowtorch. <laughs> By a blowtorch. <laughs> but you know, I I'm I've often said that I'm very jealous of those people who believe in God because they have this this <coughs> balm, as it was, this uh, uh, soothing notion that's going to keep them from from worrying about whether they're going to die or not. Yes, but that's exactly why they believe in God. Yeah, but, you know, oh, good, I'm dying. I'm going to go see Aunt Mary again. So if, yeah, I, you're right, though. If you can convince yourself that's what's going to happen, you're going to have this great calmness about not worry about it and think it's going to be great. So yeah, yeah. In that sense, it works. In that sense, it works. So I feel jealous uh, of those people because, well, in a way, they're so stupid they actually believe they're not going to be mulch. <laughs> it's, so, it's so true. Now you know I have I I do have certain theories that there may be a life after death, but not in in the way that we think of it. Uh, if you believe in string theory and you believe in different dimensions, um, I exist right now. You exist on, in another dimension. And another, I can't remember what they call it now. I'm too tired. It's too early in the day for me to. I know, folks, this is being played at night, but we recorded this early on. Um, but I, I, uh, 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 you know, I just, um, I don't know. I just, I just can't. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to remember what they call those other dimensions, but there are about twelve of them supposedly. I mean, this is scientific, okay? And that they're all, you exist in all of them, but not in exactly the way you do now. You may not be a comedian in another dimension, okay? Uh, so maybe we pass over into, into, that, uh, into those other dimensions. I don't know, you know. I mean, 
it, it's all a mystery to me. It, the biggest mystery is that we have this finite amount of time here on the planet. You know, 80 years I'm pushing, as I say, my sell-by date. Uh, average age of a man is something like about 77, and then you're gone. That's it, you know. And what are you in, in the great string of time? You were just this, <laughs> this insignificant speck. I know. So why well, were you here in the first place if all you are was an insignificant speck? It's totally pointless. Have we depressed you, everybody? <laughs> like Marlon Brando said on your deathbed, you look back over your life and go, what the hell was that all about? Yeah, what the heck? He did say that on his deathbed. Marlon Brando said, looked up and said, what the heck was that all about? And then he died. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and that's kind of what I'm asking myself. I mean, what the heck was that all about? I spent my life doing radio, trying to become a name in radio, uh, trying to apply my art, and blah, 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 blah. And then I dropped dead. Nobody remembers me. And what the fuck was that all about? Yeah, it's pointless. It's absolutely pointless. And then I think about it. You know, I, I, as I said, I was looking at a documentary on the planets that they did, that BBC did. And I think Netflix now claims is a Netflix original or something like that. And it's really great. But what they do is they say, and four billion years ago, Mars was created or whatever. And I'm going... Four fucking billion years ago? Now, if you take my 80 years and fold mm -hmm. it into one billion, you get virtually nothing. <laughs> and if you do that with Donald Trump's life, you again get virtually nothing. So why is he spending all his time trying to make the rest of our lives, this, the short lives we have on this planet, miserable? Well, people always try to make other people's lives miserable. Uh, Dana Carvey said to John Lovett, Lovett was complaining about something, and Dana said, John, do you know there's, from today there's going to be another billion years? And Lovett said, well, then this all means nothing. Yeah, absolutely. And, and so what, what is it all about, Larry? What do, you think, <laughs> what do you think it's all about? Why are we put here? Just... I wish I had that philosophical mind, but uh, I think we're, I think we're dogs trying to solve algebra problems. Well, I, I, I think what it is, we spend a lot of our time on this planet, whether it's a, a, a Buddhist monk or, uh, or, or, or a rocket scientist, trying to figure out what this is all about, as Marlon Brando said. And we don't have a clue. And we don't have a clue, you know? I mean, if you think about the, uh, and everybody just for a moment, think about the enormity of the universe, okay? I mean, it's an amazingly large place. It's, in fact, it's infinite. And, uh, and, and, and think about your place in that infinite space. You want to talk about a speck? You're a speck of time. Add that to the speck in space that you are. And, and even somebody as important as Donald Trump means nothing. Mm -hmm. Means nothing in that infinite space and that infinite time. And, uh, uh, you know, I just, I just think about, and we're this little speck of a planet here in all of this vast universe. And then you think about that and you go, what's that all about? You know? And then you start saying, am I really here, or is this just some kind of dream? Yeah, or you start to think about the beginning of time, and your head pops off. Yeah, oh, well, um, when I was a kid, you know, I'd lie there in bed, and I would, they would tell me, the universe is infinite. And I'm going, how can anything be infinite? You know, I mean, there's got to be an end to yeah. everything. And they say that it's, you know, that, that the universe is a sidereal line. Here's how they explain it. If you take a telescope that has ultimate magnification and you point it absolutely straight ahead, you will see the back of your head. Wow. <laughs> 
because space curves and comes right back to where it began. Okay? Well, yeah. Still doesn't explain it to me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm in awe of the universe, and I'm in awe, uh, and at the same time, it depresses me. It depresses exactly. me because soon we, I... We feel the same way. Soon I will be dead. I'm getting to the point now where I don't start a new television series that looks like it's going to be a hit because I'm afraid I'm never going to be able to see how it ends. <laughs> All right? You know, Watchmen just started on HBO. And I started watching it. And I'm going, but, you know, if, if this thing goes for six seasons or something like that, and I'm dead after four seasons, I'm never going to see how this ends. So why am I watching it? That's how depressed I'm getting about <laughs> this. I'm letting it rule my life. Hey, why should I start seeing uh, the new Marvel series? Because I'm never—I may not see how it resolves itself. You know. So. Yeah. Well, wow, that's depressing. You know. And how many Star Wars pictures am I going to miss? <laughs> then again, my mother lived to be a hundred. I could live to be that old, but I don't want to be that way. You know. Already, my parts are starting to fall apart on me. You know, I'm getting up the neuropathy, neuropathy in the feet. I may have the prostate cancer. Uh, then again, I may not. You know, the, these PSA tests are ridiculous. Um, but uh, I may not. But nevertheless, I've, I've got all these things that are bothering me. And as I get older, they're not going to get any less bothering me. No, and there can be a new one every day. So I can live to be 100. But I'll be sitting there with some other old people in a room because I remember that's where my mother was at the old Jewish uh, old folks home in San Francisco and uh, just uh, drooling and having a nurse come over every now and then and wipe off my spittle, you know? What kind of well, a life... She, isn't that... Was she fairly happy there? I, I don't think she conceived of happy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she had, uh, she didn't have, uh, she wasn't, uh, what, what's the thing, uh, she didn't have Alzheimer's. She had dementia, mm -hmm. uh, which is Alzheimer without a physical component, okay? And uh, listen, all those dogs barking outside, I hear. Hear that? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Are those dogs? Yeah, they got to be dogs. Anyway. Uh, my mother was, uh, she, uh, you know, I mean, I don't think she was fully aware of where she was. You okay. Know. And, it could be scary. Uh, yeah. Uh, she knew she was comfortable and that people were watching over her. I think she knew that. And she had her own little room and everything like that, you know. But I would go see her and it was kind of like I was, I was, I was talking to my mother, but I was talking to a shell that once was my mother. Yeah. You know? And really, she was just in this place waiting to die. And they were taking good care of her. I mean, it was a Jewish home for the age. And one time my mother said, where am I? I said, you're in the Jewish home for the aged. And I said, she said, why? And I said, two reasons. <laughs> you're Jewish and you're aged. <laughs> you know? And uh, uh, that's why she was there. And um, it, it, it was, you know, it was, and then I would go into this room, there, this room of old people, and they were all women. It wasn't like it was an all-girls school or something like that. They were just the women survived their husbands, okay? And so the they always ma do. majority of the people in this room were women, and they were all over the age of uh, 80, you know, there, I think there was one person there, one guy there who was like 75, but he had Alzheimer's really bad. Okay. So that, you know, that qualified him. But I went into this room and there was like maybe one guy and he was over in the corner playing a piano. Mm -hmm. You know, it was all he knew from his memory that he could play the piano. And, um, there was this one woman, I would walk by her. Every time I walked by her, she'd go, 
You a cop? <laughs> so I imagine myself in that room. I've seen old age that old, and I don't know if I want that either. You know, that's the other fear I have is that yeah. I am going to live to be that old and I am going to be <laughs> incontinent and uh, losing my memory and uh, saying to Larry Bubbles Brown, we've run out of time. That's a no win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm going to be saying at the end of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, we've run out of time. Run out of time. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Hey, thank you, Larry. Yeah, this is a very uplifting episode. Yes, so. <laughs> I'll see you next week so we can get together and depress, you got it. depress the rest of my audience. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bubbles Brown. Bye, Bubs. Still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. We all love them, don't we? Yes, Larry Bubbles Brown, ladies and gentlemen. You can't, they don't get much better than old Larry. We love them. Everybody loves them. Hello, how are you? I'm here with my commie hat tonight, uh, and we're going to turn on the phones and see if anybody wants to talk to us tonight. One of these days, uh, nobody will want to talk to us. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, there, okay. Now it, uh, it uh, signed on, and uh, the green light should be lit lighting on your... Light lighting? Lighting on your... Uh, lighting on your Skype that says that Alex is available. Yeah, yeah, I'm available. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, if you don't know how to call this program, you can do it, you know, using Skype. And if you don't know anything about all of that, just go to our GabNet page, G-A-B-N-E-T dot net. Uh, over on the right-hand side of the page uh, is everything you want to know about how to call this program. And we would love to, uh, we'd love to have you participate. Please, whatever you do, participate. Let me see here. Uh, let me Todd Moore. Wow, I was just I was just uh, looking at Todd Moore. Hello, Todd. How hey. are you? How you doing? Where are you, Todd? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me give you a a, a, a little slot here in the uh, uh, on the on the thing here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Todd, there we go. Okay, Todd, why don't you turn yourself sideways so then you're in panoramic panoramic mode. Okay. That? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Okay, now we'll go over. To, there he is, and you're in your car. I take it. My eighteen wheeler. You're eight. Oh, you're in a truck. Of course, you're a trucker. I forget. Yeah. <laughs> well, this will give you something to do on that long uh, black ribbon of highway. Uh, I'm off. To, I'm off tonight, so yeah. I try to make it so I can get on because every other time I try. Mm -hmm. I'm usually driving, and I can't get on, and I miss it every time. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you, but now you're not working tonight, but you're in your truck. Yes. Now, I live in my truck. You live in your truck. Most truckers do, don't they? No. No? Um, I, I, I talk, Every trucker, I mean, I used to talk to a lot of truckers when I was doing my show. Let me uh, give myself a little more volume here. Uh, when I used to do my show over at, uh, over at uh, Sirius, uh, I, I've got a lot of truckers calling the program, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of them talked about uh, there was a man and wife, uh, who, a trucking team, who lived in their car, uh, so, you know, um, in their truck. So it, um, I'm trying to talk and do something at the same time. Hold on a second. Let me get Phil in oh, here. Okay. Uh, There's oh. Phil. Okay. What were you going to What were you gonna say, Todd? So you say you... you uh, be Phil. <laughs> yeah, but it's cheaper to live in your truck, isn't it, than stay at a motel or whatever, you know? Yeah, it is, but I really don't do hotels too much because a lot of hotels um, that you go to, they might have bed bugs or roaches and stuff. I don't want none of that stuff in my truck. Yeah, right. So you stay in the truck. You, it's safer. Is it comfortable? Oh, yeah. I, I, I mean, I got like a, a, it's like an apartment in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have a toilet? I got my refrigerator, my microwave. I used to be a chef. Uh -huh. I got ovens. I got a bathroom. I got everything, man. I love it. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, if I ever go really broke, I'll come move in with you. So that's <laughs> fine. I got another bunk, a bed up here. But the only problem is I got to fix the lights in here, as you can tell, because my lighting is real bad. Really? Oh, boy. 
Uh, can you? You're using your uh, your phone. Why don't you? Yeah. Sh- why don't you show us a little bit about? Uh, can you show us a little more of that of that uh, 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 of the situation there? Um, oh, hmm? That's I'm getting in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a pillow and everything. Boy. Right in front of me. This is really I got nice. TV over here too. It's and uh, the front is covered right now, and it's raining real bad. Yeah. Right now. Um, I don't know if you can see Texas. <laughs> no, I'm I'm over here in uh, um uh, where at L M I. Wait a minute. I drive so much I keep forgetting. I'm in uh Missouri, oh. or I call it misery. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. I got to get some people on here. I'm having trouble with, uh, oh, there's Charlie Wallace, finally. Yep. Okay. And then in the number four position, uh, let me see here. We got, uh, yeah, there he is, Mr. Let's see here. Um, Mike. Um, How you doing, Alex? Michael Klein. Let me see here. Let me go to the next template. There we go. So we can see him. Uh, okay, we're uh, we're off to a, a raging start here, I guess. Huh? By the way, to everybody who's watching, uh, we are not only on YouTube, but we're on uh, the Facebook page as well, which is facebook.com forward slash A Bennett. Okay, so you can watch us on either one. I don't know how much longer I'm going to do the Facebook thing, though, because it doesn't seem to get a lot of people. In the beginning, I got a lot of people on Facebook, and then they all got used to going over to YouTube. So, you know, but we're broadcasting on both, which. Oh, you're not on the air, huh? What? Oh, oh no, we're also doing the audio as well. Your on air sign's not on. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm glad you pointed that out to me, Charlie. Because if Somebody I didn't, in the chat room if, did. if I, if I didn't do it, s- girlfriend would let me have it. Okay. Now the transmitter is on. Now the transmitter is on. Exactly. How you doing, Michael? What's new? I'm doing good. Uh, I've been doing a stint at KNBC, mm-hmm. producing promos, and that's been a lot of fun during the fires. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I guess we have a mutual friend, I found out, Randy Thomas. Did yes, I, of course. Good old Randy. I knew her years ago. Yes. Okay. Yeah, she's a good friend of mine. And uh, I was, I just, you came up in conversation and it's like, oh, God, he like helped, you helped her get her start. Well, I didn't help her get her start. No. Did she say that? Well, you were instrumental in something. I'm trying to remember. The uh, story. I was only instrumental in uh, in being a good friend to her when she was in New York. They she got came into New York to work at WPLJ, yeah. and uh, we became rather close, you know, and got to know each other. She's a good lady. She's a very good lady, lady, and the voice of the Academy Awards. When you watch yes. the Academy Awards show, she's the announcer on it. And the Tonys. And, and she's done Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, she, she's having an upcoming TED Talk that's going to be published that I helped her with. So. Oh, really? Look forward to that. Yeah, she's telling her life story and how she was the first woman to announce the Academy Awards. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow, wow. Well, she does them all. You know, she's got, there's no room for anybody else to get that job. She, she pretty <laughs> well. I don't know. She doesn't do it every year, about every other year or something like that. You know, they. They have her do it, but uh, uh, every now and then I listen to it and I go, "That's Randy," you know. That's <laughs> yeah. Randy. Well, give her my best when you she, see her. Okay? I will. She had great things to say about you, which surprised yeah. me actually. Oh, no, I thought the world of her. I thought the world of her. Uh, yeah. You know, I won't go any further than that, but you know, I thought the world of. Her. <laughs> do you know a voiceover artist named John Pl- Plesey? Plessy? P-L-E-I-S-S-E. No. He's the voice of uh, NBC, so I, it was kind of cool writing copy for him. Yes. Well, you know, um, some people have work still. That's good. You know, I mean, uh, l- look at Randy. I mean, uh, I, I'm not saying this pejoratively. Randy's no spring chicken. No. You know? And she's, no, still, and she's still working. She's- you know, yeah, she, she's working her butt off to keep getting work. You know, she's here in LA now. She moved from Miami. Yeah. Oh, she was in Miami. Yeah. I didn't realize that. How do you get work in Miami? 
Hey, when you're voiceover, you can get work from anywhere in the world, I man. Guess. You just do it all your I house. Guess. I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, I I met her through Entertainment Tonight. So yeah. she she was the announcer on Entertainment Tonight. Yes. For a while, not anymore. The most watched entertainment news show in the world. <laughs> Does she still do it? No, <laughs> no, on and off. But I never watch that show anymore, so I don't know. So we got a guy in his truck. Yeah, Todd. I heard the beginning of that, Todd. Yeah. Hey. And we yeah. have a, 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 a guy in uh, uh, Contra Costa with his back to us. You're very quiet tonight, Phil. You usually are very verbose when you come on. Well, I figured that you would uh, summon me when you wanted to hear from me. Yeah, oh, so what well, do you so think we, about What is this, a new own, thing Phil? with you? What? What? I have to summon you? Well, you were in conversation. You want me to interrupt? I mean, I, I can I can go that way, but... You know, uh, when he's interrupting, hey, you yeah, no, 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 stop, he's stop, not stop, interrupting. I'm interrupting. I'm interrupting. <laughs> well, sometimes when you don't interrupt, we want somebody to check your pulse. <laughs> you know. Well, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, you know, we're, we're going through blackouts. Uh, now, uh, Michael, have you been affected by the fires at all? Not, not me, but they're definitely all around. I can smell the smoke, but not directly How affect. I have you... friends. I'm more concerned about my friends in Marin County. Yeah, well, that that's burning. They don't have electricity. Yeah, uh, uh, and they haven't had it for days. But uh, how and far are you from the Getty Center? Uh, about a half hour. Oh, okay. It'll uh, take but a while did you hear to burn the, the, the soda soda rock winery in Hillsburg? Yeah, burnt it's gone. Around? It's gone. I've never I've been, been there. I love their wine. Really? I, I, haven't, I haven't gone to that one. I... Wow. Well, I, I, if anybody cares, the reason why uh, Damien wasn't on tonight and we ran a repeat was because no he was uh, evacuated. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Yeah. That doesn't from his, load well from his, for your locker. Well, no, I have, a, I have my stuff in storage at the same place where he lives. And was evacuated. Did you get a locker insurance like I suggested? No. I didn't know you had a locker, Alex. Yeah. So I have a, I have a locker up there. And it's, uh, I mean, I have uh, homeowner's insurance, so I think it's covered uh, It by might that. be covered. Yeah, it's covered by that, I'm uh, sure. You know, the, uh, well, yeah, only Alex, Alex, has a, Alex has a locker, but he really doesn't call it a locker. It's his, uh, it's his libra presidential library yeah. uh, with all his artifacts. <laughs> yeah, well, all the artifacts are in there, which could go, but, you know, uh, so what? You know, yeah. if life is just, you know, I mean, it's not, I have a lot of the tapes here now, so... I don't have the videotapes, though, and I don't have, uh, I need the videotapes and a few other things. I'm going to have him start sending some more stuff it, out. It's here. one less boat anchor, uh, you know, and uh, as you were saying, if uh, if you die, you're here yeah. today, gone tomorrow, but, then somebody has to deal with it. But I have shirt. the mes masters for my TV specials in there, the, uh, you know, yeah. the big one-inch tapes. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, things like that. So, I mean, I still have to, you know. Uh, you know, uh, I yeah. I would I would not want to lose. Did you own that show, Alex? Uh, I owned half of it. Half of it with PBS or wasn't it, it PBS? No, no, UPS. Uh, UPS. <laughs> UPS. <laughs> Channel Forty Four in San Francisco. UPS. KBHK. KBHK. Channel Forty Four on most systems. Yeah, yeah. I, I prefer. I mean, would you be allowed to publish it on YouTube? Uh, I have it on you. It's on. Uh, it's actually on my. Um, um, what do you call it? Uh, it's on. Uh, it's on uh, Gabnet TV on Roku. I oh, have uh, the at least one of the specials. I I don't have the other one around. So, and that, it, actually, there are two specials there. There's the Wired Again special that I did, which is the worst TV show in the history of mankind. <laughs> and then there's uh, there's uh, the. Alex Bennett uh, Comedy Hour. Uh, oh, and what about I have, Comedy Tonight? Or you were just the host on that? Comedy or? Tonight. I was just the host. I didn't own any oh. of that. Oh, okay. Know. So I don't have any rights to put that up. Can't believe I remember this shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was. I I actually was on what five seasons on PBS. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. So anyway, you know, 
Uh, uh, but I, I, if the th place didn't burn before, I suspect it won't burn again because everything around it burned last time. So where's the fire going to go now? Because there's a natural fire break there because the fire destroyed everything. It's true. It's just that it's the only thing left to burn. So as long as it's you know needs something to burn, an ember will jump over and it'll float in the air. And then all of a sudden it settles down yeah, and yeah. Uh, your shit's on fire. You know the way I look at it, it's uh, about 150 bucks le 180 bucks less I have to pay every month. <laughs> yes. You know? that is That's the way I look good at it. Thing. <laughs> you know, and then I can collect the insurance on it, and I can have somebody go out and make tapes of me, uh, pretending to be me. You know, who's probably better than I am. So, you know. And don't forget, I got a bunch of photos of you, Alex, from the Live 105 days. Oh, really? Any with clothes on? Yeah, I was the official photographer for like two years. Wow! Well, did Putin see these? Really? Send me yeah. some. You don't remember that? Send me some. Uh, yeah, I got a ton. I got from. Uh, hey, listen. If I don't remember Phil, Breakfast with Bennett, I got uh, photos. Yeah. And, oh wow. Well, um, if I don't remember Phil, how am I going to remember you? Uh, <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> in fact, in fact, I'm doing a thing with Tom Kenny. Mm -hmm. in a couple of weeks. He's going to be doing a wine thing that I'm helping produce, and I have photos. I don't know if you have a memory of this, Alex. Do you remember when after Breakfast with Bennett, Tom Kelly, Tom Kenny invited. Everyone to his apartment, and this crowd of people walked with him. I, you know, four or five I, blocks to his apartment. Yeah, they all went to his apartment. I have photos of the studio audience in his apartment. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> well, give him my best. I have not talked to Tom in, in yeah? years. Yeah, oh. yeah. I remember. I got a great story about that. Uh, uh, I interviewed him a few years ago when I was at Sirius XM because I hadn't talked to him in years, and I figured I should. And uh, I met up with a kid one day, and we're a little kid, somebody's kid or something. And the kid uh, had a T-shirt on with SpongeBob SquarePants. And I looked at the kid, and I said, guess what, kid? And he said, what? I said, SpongeBob is a friend of mine. And he, <laughs> and he looked at me and said, sure he is. <laughs> Show me on the doll where he touched you. Huh? Yeah. Show me on the doll where he touched yeah, you. So, yeah. <laughs> I was saying, did you, you should have got him on the phone at that moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I was always very happy for Tom. Swell, just swell guy and deserves, <coughs> excuse me, every inch of success that he's had. You know. And 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 he's uh, a happy guy, and he's, his kids are doing really well. And um, I bumped into him sometimes when I'm at CBS. Yeah, yeah. So you're. He lives, I think he lives in Studio City. So you're living down in L.A. now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got fires. Phil's got fires. How close are the fires to you, Phil? Well, um, you know, we got the Kincaid one, which is uh, like Sonoma. Mm -hmm. uh, there was one in Lafayette, so that was just uh, across the freeway. Uh, uh, that was Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and it burned a tennis club and uh, a couple of acres. Um, there's, uh, you know, there, there, there's a number of them up and around here. Kincaid uh, but, is seventy five thousand acres right now. Yeah, and it, it's it's minimally contained. Yeah. And uh, well, you know, California has had this continual problem over the years with fires. I mean, every year. They go, oh, it's terrible. It's, it's horrible what's happening. And it is horrible, you know. But it also is, it, it just seems to be something that happens uh, on a regular basis every year. I know year. why. Why? California is a godless society, and next will be locusts and uh, oh, plague. Oh, climate change. I see. There's Tony. Yeah. Then locusts, then plague. I was afraid to bring up the climate change because Phil's here. Well, I don't know if I, I, don't, I don't see I don't see the seasons changing. You know, I even am aware Phil, of that is falling in, in Phil, winter. Phil, Phil, that isn't the effect of climate change because you don't see the weather changing. And as a matter of fact, oh. this what? Yeah, oh, go ahead, finish. Yeah. No, I mean it is it is not it is not what the weather is. It's climatological changes and the effects it has on the planet. Yes, but I see I can stop climate change in one easy step. If 
all the one percenters paid for carbon credits, it would stop climate change. And, you know, it would it would uh, fund the one world socialists uh, and their agenda. And I think climate change is any is only cyclical. And Phil, my, I got to tell you something about my wife, Phil, and I have to I have to tell you this. She finally came to me the other day, and I have to say it, Phil's a fucking asshole. And she does <laughs> not like you. She does not like you. But, but that's, Phil, how can you see it's cyclical when this is unprecedented? Huh? So going well, everything's on. unprecedented. They, they, have, they look at the rings and trees and the rains and, and so on. forth for, for hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah. And they're able to determine that it was, you know, just as warm, uh, uh, you know, 200 years ago as it is today. And and they didn't have uh, Phil, automobiles Phil, and things Phil, like that. That, that, that is, Fox and, you know, uh, I think, well, Phil, I think it's not how is, hot uh, or cold. Not, it's not how hot or cold that is climate change. Oh, uh, well, you sell it any way you want. No, I'm not I, selling say, it any way I, I want. it's a bunch of hocus pocus. Charlie, tell them what it's about, okay? It's not how how hot it got on one particular day. It's how hot it's gotten on so many days. Well, uh, you, you ever you ever hear the sky it, is falling? You know that that little. But this thing. isn't the sky is falling. This isn't yeah, the, the sky, sky is falling. Phil, and you know why? Uh, it, 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 20 years ago, it was the ozone. Well, you don't hear a word about the ozone anymore. That's because we stopped and the 25 the years ago, it was global because we cooling. because we helped we we did come about we did save the ozone, didn't we, Charlie? I yeah. mean, by by but we had to in the ozone because there's no oz there's not an ozone problem now because we stopped putting the fluorocarbons in so, the air. So you mean in 20 years we fixed the ozone yes. crisis? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's yes. Such Bullshit. Yes, we did. We did Phil. You know, that's such bullshit. Don't see if you can buy an aerosol can, can in the store. Hmm? Can't you can't buy aerosol cans? Well, you can in the black market. Break. You know, <laughs> I, I like aerosol cans. I spray them all over. I'm trying to make that hole in the ozone. <laughs> Randy, what? Thomas, bullshit! You guys what? fell what? for a bill of goods. What did Absolutely. you? What, what did you say, Mike? Randy Thomas is texting me. She wants to call. Maybe I could get her on with us, huh? <laughs> she wants Tell to. She can just uh, Skype us. That live. I'm in a conference call with Alex Bennett. Do you want to go on with us? Tell her we're doing my show. Yeah. Oh. You still can't stay I out think on the, the conference call. call has for she pull. back in the 50s. <laughs> for pull. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's great. The man is nuts, Alex. Why? Who, Phil? Phil's gone crazy. He's crazy. He's <laughs> out of his mind. Ozone. Science project. You're going to bring him in for a Out day. of his mind. You were around. You know what it was like back in the 60s. Ozone. <laughs> Kids are gifted. They would like yeah. to They'd be amazed. The dope. You could smoke the dope and not get uh, all fucked up. <laughs> well, I can never did drugs. I'm going to start doing drugs, I think. Yeah, I if you did, did drugs, you'd explode. <laughs> To no, Tony on drugs, never, my God! Randy sends her love. Okay, but she says she's not prepared. Okay, <laughs> that means that she isn't ready to sit in front of a camera. That, that's <laughs> usually what it means. Give her my best, will you, when you I see her? Anyway, uh, uh, where were we? Oh yeah. So and 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 um, Todd is in his truck. I heard the truck. Nice. Yay. <laughs> That that kind of darkened person. If he were, it, I know. I'm sorry about the lighting. Yeah, well, you know that and your complexion. It kind of, you know, it's darker than it would usually be. Watch yourself, Alex. Huh? Yeah. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. That's <laughs> that Jew bigot shit coming out you. There's no bigot <laughs> shit. I'm just <laughs> saying that when. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Years years ago, I got to tell you, uh, we were when I was doing Midnight Blue, we had an invite to go out to Long Island and uh, record this reggae group. Uh, I can't hmm. remember what their names were now. So we go out to this club, and uh, in those days, cameras weren't as good as they are today. And the stage was completely black. It had a completely black background. 
Mm. And now these four black guys get on stage <laughs> with black shirts, and I'm where, and I'm trying to shoot them, and I'm going, pour some light on them, and we pour light on. We they must have been sweating a you ton. You should have tried lynching. Shooting didn't work. <laughs> no, because all I had were these eyes and teeth running around. You know, because I because in those days it just all blended in together, and we had to pour. We poured incredible amount of light on the stage, but it didn't work because black absorbs light rather than you know reflects it. Reflects it. So I mean, it was it was we got it was a great group. It was a terrific group, but we. Couldn't use the footage because you couldn't see him, you know. So that's my story, Todd. Was that racist? How come you didn't? Wait a minute. Like Wait, hold background. on a second. Can I asked Todd. Lynch and shit was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go. No, on that, there the, lynch, the that lynching was in, in lieu of shooting. <laughs> he said he shot him. You know. Uh, can can't you light a back black background? Uh, and pour some light on it, which will uh, you can you you can sign it. You can turn a black background. I'm talking about bad cameras in those days. Oh. You know, these were just things that were not possible, Phil. Mm. You know, it was just the technology was not there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Bree has joined us, but we're waiting for him to turn on a camera here so we can see him. There we go. Now I can find him here. Let's hope he's not against a black background. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 ta, da, da, I'm looking for a breathe. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's how I bring him on. I can't. I can't talk and do it at the same time. Hello. He's in uh, in um, um, Indonesia, right? Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, uh, nice. So we what got time is it in Kuala Lumpur? This is what I love about Skype. We got a guy in a truck and we got a guy in Kuala Lumpur. How about that? Okay. Is that technology not, people? Is, 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 is that not, is that not terrific or what? It's more mm -hmm. or what? Okay. Anyway, um, you know, Phil, you really are an asshole. <laughs> we mean that. Hey, no problem. I'll, I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to get something to drink because I'm an okay, asshole. Okay, the asshole's going to get a drink. <laughs> Boy. Like, I don't oh, know what he's going to say. It's the asshole drink shot. Here comes Jeff Stein. Boy, we're uh, we're 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 getting tons of people here. Let me see here. And Jeff is. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Jeff looks like he's in. Boy, uh, oh, Jeff, turn, turn, turn the audio down. You're listening to the audio from the show. Turn down your radio. Okay, try and do something about that. Okay, all right. Is he doing something about it? I don't know. Uh, no, we still hear it. Well, it takes thirty seconds. No, no, he he. There we go. Well, no, we can still hear. Him. Get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Just close your close your browser. Don't close Skype. Just close your browser. Get rid of it. Your browser. There you go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So where are you? You are you at home? Yeah. That's yeah, a really good picture tonight. You know. <laughs> well, also there's no light in back of you and stuff, and it really looks good. So you know. And we lost Tony already to that hideous wallpaper. The this weekend. <laughs> This weekend, uh, Marjorie and I, and by the way, Bree, we can't see your face. We can see your your vent up above. You see? Well, who cares? Nobody wants to see me, Alex. They're not too. Well, we don't want to see that fucking vent. I. It's worse than it, Tony's wallpaper. <laughs> it is not worse. <laughs> So we're watching. My wife and I. We've we've gone we've gone through this thing of we're watching all the. What did? Oh. Who did that? Somebody hit a button. That so, wasn't me. I, I didn't touch Somebody anything. Somebody Jeff. Me. Jeff. Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, someone's sending their uh, screen. Wait a Upper right-hand corner, you can see Jeff. Yeah. Uh, it, Jeff's name. Jeff. Jeff. You've Come got on. See, uh, there, What there, in the no, world? No. no that's that's not the Andromeda idiot. Galaxy. You see those They're that fine. double <laughs> that double squares? That, there we go. <laughs> there now, you go. Uh, no, he, he, How could he turned, take over like that? Uh, any uh, of you it, could. Yeah, there's a there's a way of doing it. Yeah, there's a way of do all you have to do is see the see the double square down at the bottom of your screen. 
right next to the yeah. heart. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, here comes Jeff back again. He what he did is he hung up. Okay. All right. Now we got uh, uh, Jeff. Jeff uh, I, I, uh, so you don't go into Gabnet Jail. In the bottom right hand corner of your uh, of your Skype screen, you'll see a double uh, square. Do you see that? Do not go near that double square. Just Never double touch square? it. Yeah. See, see if you go heart, down, if you square, if you move your square. cursor down uh, towards the bottom of the screen, click. You'll on the right hand side. You'll see a heart on the right hand side, right? Yeah. And then right next to it, see those two squares? Yeah. You don't want to touch those. Okay. That's what That's does it. And touching I touching those will put you into Gabnet jail. Yeah, I don't know how you managed to do it because, but that seems to be the thing you always hit by accident. I don't know yeah, why. I don't know how because I don't try to touch it. There. Yeah, well, don't just don't even go anywhere near there. Okay. Well, so, then show me on the doll where you <laughs> were touched. Yeah, where you were touched. <laughs> um, uh, so anyway, uh, 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 somebody brought up something uh, v vaguely political, which. Uh, Started. I was trying to talk about the vote that's going to the House tomorrow. Mm. It's not a real vote. <laughs> Is that the impeach? It's, it's not a real no, vote? It, it's, it's, yeah. a vote, it's a vote to continue to do what they're doing. No, no it's no, not. No, it's, it's a not. vote to actually start the investigation. Yeah. Versus investigation. An inquiry, not the investigation. impeachment. To formally start the investigation. Well, they, they have to go through a process, Phil. It's not like they're over. They have to go through a process, step by step, methodically, to get this done. Uh, you know what's happening here? They don't want to end up with more egg on their face like they did during the Mueller uh, testimony. And there's all no the egg on. There's things. no egg on their face. Nancy Pelosi knows she has the votes. She doesn't yeah. have. The yes, votes. she does. She had the votes. She, she has to uh, have the vote. She no. They have to go through this process first. Don't you understand how an impeachment that is works? Not, yes, I do. And that's no, you don't. No, you have no. You haven't. Clinton you haven't. Or Nixon. You haven't had a a a. a, a, a oh, you listen to Fox for that crap. You're starting it's to good. learn. Is that what you're? Is that what you're learning? Uh, you're, no, you're I just hear you parroting them. them, and that means nothing. Phil. No, it happens to be the truth. It happens That's to be. Oh, oh, news. it's the it's truth. Not a matter of it's the truth. These people are uh, in I the see. house. It, they're they're there mm -hmm. talking to uh, those. That, uh, okay, I'm glad it's the truth, Bill. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. What am I going to do about you? Probably kill you. Anyway, well, that, it's easy, you know. Uh, I'm not. Oh, you're going to have several days without me next week. Really? Uh -oh. Let me write. Well, those you down. might not have me a couple of days next week if I get bad news from my doctor. Yeah. Uh, the fifth, sixth, and seventh of November, I will be in Nashville. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'll find a way to call. Hmm? You'll find a way to call. Nah, yeah, I'm going to see my mother one night, and uh, then I, you know, there's activities. So you know, you don't want an asshole on this on the thing all the time. So you know. Yeah, well, I may not be on next week if I get bad news from my doctor. So. Uh, what are you? What, what's he looking at? My prostate. I was going to say, oh. what's he looking up? It's my urologist. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, oh, look, you know. Don't worry about it. There's nothing you can do when you get bad news. There's nothing you can do when you get good news. It's just the news. And, you know, just don't let it affect you. You don't have to let it affect you. Right. And, and the faster you get back to just doing your normal thing, it'll take your mind off of it. You yeah. know, you asked me how it didn't, you know, I wasn't all pushed out of shape over uh, the prostatectomy and the prostate cancer and the uh, and the heart uh, 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 stents and uh, so forth. You know, it is what it is. I got dealt those cards. You know, I'm not going to run out of the room. Those are the cards yeah. I got. There's nothing oh. else. I well, I mean, I, I still have no indication other than the PSA test going up that I have anything, you know. So, yeah. Now, you know, I, I noticed uh, during the, uh, uh, the second season of Kaminsky uh, 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 Method, method yeah. uh, that um, there was even more diseases that you had or want to have. Uh, you know, that I want to have. I don't want to have any diseases. I want to live forever. I would like yeah. to, at least to well, a, I tell you, I want to go quick. 
anyway, the, it, it just seems as though, you know, it was, it was interesting the way they developed the characters. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to the third season. Yeah, it was I far too short. Season. It was far too short. They were, each episode was 25 minutes because that's what Chuck Lorre is used to. Yeah. And um, it, it, uh, it, they, they were eight episodes and we sat there and watched them all in a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, like three and a half hours. Yeah, there's the doggy again. There's mm -hmm. Penny. Huh? Penny. Penny. Hello, Penny. Can you hear me, Penny? Hello, Penny's trying to figure out where the where her name is coming from. Penny. Here, Penny. 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 Bite him. Bite him. <laughs> Woof. Woof. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, she doesn't get affected by anything, does she? No. And that's the way you should be when you hear about your prostate. Yeah, well. No, <laughs> anyway, I know I just everything starts and stops on next Monday in my mind, you know. Huh. Uh, but it, I, I'm sure he'll probably go come see me in another three months, you know. So I don't know. Look, yeah. You know, look at Jeff. Uh, he had gone through a ton of adversity uh, health wise in his life, and he just continues to to do. It doesn't affect him. He just does what he has to do. And you should take a lesson from that. Well, uh, Jeff's my hero in that respect. Well, okay. it affects him, but he's he's dealing with it well. Yeah, you know, you get dealt cards. You know, nobody said life was. What's fair. been your philosophy, Jeff? Your guiding <clears throat> philosophy in all of this? You don't have a choice. That's right. Try to do the best yeah. you can. Patrick's my hero. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Patrick's my hero too in that respect. Yeah. He's oh, yeah. always sitting down on the job. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that easy when he gets in the car and gets out of it. Yeah, that's no. good. Oh. Yeah. You gotta uh, admire him to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's also because he doesn't want a minivan. You know, <laughs> <laughs> if he had a minivan, he could just roll in, push a button, boom. <laughs> you know, and he worries about parking in places where he wouldn't be able to get into the minivan. Don't park in those spots. You know, hmm. yeah. He says it's very difficult to park where it's a uh, minimum. Uh, you know, people who are sick. Yeah. That there's not enough rooms anymore. Oh, and at the hospital. Yeah. Well, you know, people wear those parking placards for handicap parking like a badge of honor. You know, get out of my way! I got a placard. <laughs> You know, it's true. It's too much. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I see all of these people, especially in California, they ab abuse the handicap placard thing. They, you know, you got every fat woman in the world has got a handicap <laughs> placard. And, you know, if they shouldn't give them the handicap placard. It just in, in, enables them to gain more weight. They should walk. Yeah, my so, dad yeah. never, my dad qualified for that, but he would never use it. He thought people who used that a lot of times were lazy or abusing it. I and fell he off a ladder. Qualified for it. Yeah. My mom's the same way. She. I fell she off a ladder uh, in 2000, and I broke my leg and my ankle. I was on top of a six foot ladder on a thing that said Ooh. "not a step." Did and it hurt? It, it hurt. Yeah. Uh, I, I got taken to the hospital in an ambulance. But was it really painful? Yeah, it was. Good. Oh, yeah, Good. aren't you glad? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, j just wait until it's your turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Well, at my age, it's just uh, going to be a hip, you know. Yeah, well. Uh, so any anyway, I, uh, I get a temporary uh, uh, placard because I'm on crutches for three months. And it's hard to walk on those crutches, especially the ones yeah. that give you a Kaiser. They hurt, you know. And they, they, <laughs> <laughs> is that a Kaiser? Huh? Excuse me. You get two crutches. Yeah, you get two, but they're they're. Uh, I don't think they put a pad on it. If you you got to have a different pad, a plan if you want the pad on under the arm. So uh, you know, and so if you got to walk two three blocks on crutches, it's really hard. And, uh, you know, I see these people parking, fat old ladies parking in the, uh, in the handicap spaces, mm -hmm. and they're going okay. shopping, okay, and they cool. got their bags okay. with them, and they're right. having a All grand right. old cool. time. Okay. And I'm on crutches. You're monopolizing the conversation. How you doing, Todd? <laughs> me? I'm good. Yeah. Let me ask you, you know, you brought it up earlier, 
And I want to I want to ask you uh, as a as a uh, black person, which we have two uh -oh. we have two on the panel tonight. I know, right? You know, good. I mean, it, it, it's getting be uh, anyway. Uh, how did you feel about uh, 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 our president using the term lynching? All right, <laughs> well, so you took a picture of. Uh, of what's his name? Uh, I, I am uh, now uh, a black person. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Big deal. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm, but why do you have to monopolize the conversation by doing that, Phil? Because I was talking to Todd here. All right. Well, you know, you, know, you tell me I'm not talking enough. No, right no, there. no. But then you put a picture up while I'm talking to somebody else, and that's kind of monopolizing the video. Yeah, I was just going one more black person on the air. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, okay. I we got get a long to drive to you, Phil. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no, no, I'm driving to you, Phil. Yeah. I, it's, you know, if you came, I take you to lunch. Mm, mm. I don't know. What, yeah. Fried chicken place? Yeah, right fried away. chicken place. <laughs> <laughs> right. No. <laughs> anyway. Well, go ahead, Alex. I'm sorry. How did you feel about Trump's comment about lynching? Um. Well, being born and raised in the Bronx, New York, blah blah blah. Um, I really wasn't, I wasn't surprised. I I've dealt with um, knowing how Trump is from the '70s all the way to now. So it's it's just the way Trump is. He 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 uses the words um, kind of like Bill does to try to uh, change what's going on to like masquerade it. You know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. He'll like get in trouble with something, and then he'll try to like boom, shabaga here. You know, yeah. I grab the pussy or some shit. That's what he does. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't get offended. I mean, you know, that's yeah. That's You're Trump. from the Bronx. The Bronx. Born and raised, sir. Cool. Come out and play, a eh? <laughs> warriors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's a great movie. But, I mean, it, 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 does any of this bother you uh, in that, do you feel that uh, he is encouraging racism in this country? Well, he's been doing that. Uh, he's, yeah. well, he, well, I mean, before he was president, he was doing that. He was doing that when he was complaining about Obama uh, mm -hmm. with the birth certificate. He was complaining about everybody else. He was complaining about uh, Central Park. You know, he always, he, he, that's who he is. Um, when he had the hotels and he had uh, the W and the C for coloreds, mm -hmm. so he, he, him and his father has been like that. So I don't get mad. Oh, oh, my light dropping there again. I got my other uh, tablet on to kind of so you can see me a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I don't really get mad at people like Phil. When, you know, they follow him because, no disrespect, I mean, I, I like Phil, and I could pick on Phil forever because I got friends like Phil, and I, and, I, and I blow them out of the water with their Fox News every day. <laughs> and they never do, you know, do you know what a, do you know what a WC is? Let him talk. Will you let him yeah. talk, Phil? Please, let him finish. And, you know, so it's it's... It's just, I don't know, um, uh, it's just, this is the way society has changed. Um, like, when we all were younger, you remember how our parents dealt with all of us. Mm -hmm. Now, the kids today, you know, not to change the subject, but the kids today get put in a corner. Yeah. And then, and, and then when, when they never got put hands on them, you wonder why they were shooting up churches and, and malls and schools. That's a good point. You know. I, I mean, got I got my ass handed to me by a retired police officer from New York constantly. And um, I was on the road for criminal uh, like straight death row, basically, the way I was acting. Mm -hmm. And uh, without my dad doing what he did and my mom, I wouldn't be on this show. I wouldn't be sitting in this truck and I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing with a correct um, record. I don't have any problems. I can buy more guns than Phil can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got one, Bill. Got here, ain't it? You know. 
know, it, and you know, and I do too. But you know, so it, it's just I don't know. I don't know. I, I really can't get mad at um, Trump because that's just the way he is. He's been raised that way. Um, I think he's the. Uh, he needs a hug. Shit, that's what he needs. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he hasn't been late a long time. We know that. Yeah. Hasn't he been good for the black community? No. Uh, as What's far the, as you uh, you reducing. Me, no. Don't ask me that shit. <laughs> well. <laughs> You know, uh, I'm not crazy about prison reform. I think that once you go to prison, you should stay there. But, you know, mm -hmm. the the thing is, uh, you know, he's he's working with prison reform. He's uh, righting some wrongs that were done to people that were uh, convicted of crimes. Because he's trying that, to schmooze Kim Kardashian. Uh, no, I don't yep. think so. That's the only time he's ever she done. She got it. his ear. Well, uh, I I I, I, hold, I give it I give it to to Kim Kardashian. That she knew mm -hmm. how to play him to get what she wanted. Well, in the meantime, it, it is what he wanted. Even when he was running in 2016, uh, you remember what he said to the black community? I think it was in Chicago. He said, "What do you got to lose?" You know. Yeah, and he they, showed us. And now they're fi and now they're finding out. Yes, yeah. yes, Todd. I'm sorry, my bad. I said he, we do got a lot to lose, and we've been losing. Yep. Everybody's been losing, not just black. Yeah. You mean yeah, like, like a uh, reputation in the world? Well, everybody. Um, uh, Screw black the world. People, Asian people, uh, Mexicans. Holy shit, for real? We, we all forgot about the Mexicans with, with them all getting locked up down there, down at the bottom of the border of Texas. What about all of the shit that was happening with all of the Jewish people at the synagogues when um, he was supposed to be all nice mm -hmm. and whatnot? Yeah, we're we're taking care of that, but you know the uh, the um, border, you, you know the cages with the kids in the cages oh, and the people God. in the cages. Don't, don't start up. Those Phil. were photographs. Oh, don't don't Phil Phil. No, it wasn't. Right, no, it no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. We had Phil. senators go in and take their own photos. What are you talking? Yeah, about? you had uh, uh, AOC take a photo in New Jersey uh, outside of a parking lot uh, to, uh, to to falsify. Uh, oh, that boy. she was down there. Who told yeah. you that? It, it, I, saw the, I saw the photo. Ago. They had the they had the stuff. Uh, they had a car in a parking lot there. Uh, you know, uh, what do you mean a car in a parking lot? Well, I don't know what you're talking you, about. Uh, there Phil. was a there was a photo that she had staged. She was in a white uh, outfit, white uh, pants and top. Yeah, she's and, so clever to stage this stuff. But she staged it. What, was she, what was she staging? About was she staging like this was happening at the border? Yes, and it wasn't. It was in a uh, Phil, lot in Phil then that's bullshit. That's yeah, utter, that's utter bullshit. bullshit, Phil. That you're buying and you're eating because they I'll, feed it I'll, to you. I'll find it. Yeah, yeah I'll go find yeah. it. Sure, you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, I can't believe this. But you know, Phil is not alone, Alex. That's what's scary. You know, he he is. A big, big. He represents a big part of the country, and that's, you know, how we can appeal to yeah. anyone that's we're, we're in the way that Phil well, thinks. Well, you know, I think any time that Trump wants to find out how popular he is, all he has to do is go to a baseball game. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the shit out of that it. was so great. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And when they started started chanting "Lock him up, lock him up," <laughs> I thought that that was just you know. And supposedly, if you look at the pictures, he stopped smiling. He's just kind of like a straight across here. Yeah. And Melania is, like, frowning. Mm -hmm. She's, like, really bothered by it because this is the first time he's been anywhere that hasn't been a protected situation in which yeah. just his acolytes are let in the door. And he had to find out what people think of him. But I, don't, I think in Donald's head, they weren't even talking to him. You think he actually shuts it out and goes, it's, it's I, not me? I think he's like, I don't know what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well what, is, what is that, Phil? I, I think you're right, Alex. I think his face. She, uh, but th that's not yeah. a photo of kids in, in cages. In, no, uh, she was looking horrified in front of a fence right here. Yeah, what, so what, what was and that? It was a parking lot in New Jersey. I know, but what was the photo for, Phil? It was to show the border. No, it the, wasn't the, to show the border, the, Phil. As a matter of fact, I'll read it. 
It says, uh, before she hit the national stage, she was just fairly unknown House candidate mm-hmm. from uh, New York City. She took time away from her campaign and came down to protest the housing migrant children. Mm-hmm. Uh, she uh, made these previously unpu- unpublished photos a year ago, uh, but she released them as uh, uh, she was uh, protesting the, the the housing of migrant. Yeah, children. but she didn't say that that was da- that was down there. She was just showing like she was doing a little dramatic thing. Right. No, it was phony. It was a part Phil, of it. Phil, it was uh, it was a dramatic. You don't even you don't even know the pictures I, I've, existed. I've How seen, could you defend them? I, I know those pictures existed, and I know then that they that she showed them. them. She showed them as a almost a dramatic thing that she was doing. No, she tried to make a drama. Phil, Phil, you're tr- you're trying doing. to portray it, it as phony. something. You're trying Fake to portray news. it as something it isn't. And where did you, where did you just get that picture from? Uh, uh, Something of liberty, you know. Yeah, I mean, okay, gonna, <laughs> okay, uh, Phil. To, Boy, you uh, are fucking you know, sucker. And, and and they don't parse what that they don't interpret what that picture is supposed to be. It, w- it had her picture. Twitter uh, thing on it. Phil, look it up. Phil, I can barely see there, it. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Todd said something. Todd, I'm sorry. I can't see the barely see the picture. What is uh, it, it supposed it, to be? It was uh, AOC uh, 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 Cortez uh, taking a picture, uh, having a picture oh, taken. OAC Cortez, that's a, a double Cortez. It turned out to be a parking lot. Yeah. Uh, uh, and she uh, get, used that picture to say she was down at the border. No, she didn't uh, use that picture. Uh, to s- you made that part up. You, you made that, that part up, Phil. Go ahead, Charlie. Charlie, something. tell him. Tell him. She never said that was down at the border. Where did it I, say that? You said that. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, he believes anything is fed to him. The national stage was just for... Uh, so she came down to Tornillo. What's T-O-R-N-I-L-O? What, it, what is the context of the picture, Phil? And hmm? it's in... It's, by the way, it's on your spurious website where they interpret yeah. what the picture is. No, no. This was her... Uh, uh, no, this wasn't her. Wait a minute. Jesus, uh, Phil. I, I, Phil my, my computer keeps crashing. Uh, yeah, I have. I, I wonder why. No, <laughs> I, I have. I have a thing that says uh, your computer was restarted. It, it, mm. It's. I think it's a. Uh, yeah, that's when it sees too many lies. It goes like. I'm does downloading that. too much <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Alex. How you doing? You got fires down there? Uh, no fires around me, no, luckily. But right. they're shutting off power all around us. Yeah. Uh, Locus. Wow. Mm. I love your uh, bumper sticker. Yeah, my friend sent me that uh, yesterday from Oregon. Anyone else 2020? Yeah. Um, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, we had the whole canard uh, this weekend with uh, the... Uh, well, well, let's see what happened. What 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 is that? that I just sent you showing the link. Oh, oh. Yeah. A Politifact saying this is false. And what yeah, is what does it say? False. What? She was standing in front of a parking. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Politifact. What does it say? No, this isn't a photo of a AOC crying over a parking lot. On June 24th, U.S. Representative AOC retweeted images that an El Paso photographer took of her at a, at a Texas town on the U.S. Mexico border last year. Uh, and the quote is Before AOC hit the national stage and was just fairly unknown House candidate from NYC, she took time away from her campaign, came down to Tornillo to protest the tent city housing migrant children. She tweeted photographer. Ivan Pierre Aguirre, who has been helping cover family separations from Texas Tribune. I made these previously unpublished photos for a year from a year ago today. Uh, she said, I'll never forget that day. It was a moment that I saw with my own eyes that the America I love was becoming a nation that steals refugee children from their parents and ch- caged them, she said, retweeting images of her standing in front of a chain link fence with a pain look on her face, and that was in that was in uh, in uh, on the Mexican border, right? Right. She mm-hmm. yeah. She said it was in the Mexican border. Critics, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Critics <laughs> pounce, posting to social media that the congressperson was crying over nothing more than a parking lot. Among the stories echoing that sentiment, 
were two shared on Facebook. One was from RT, the Russian government-backed news organization, and another was from a conservative news outlet, PJ Media, which ran a story of the headline, AOC weeps over an empty parking lot. Both Facebook posts were flagged as part of Facebook's efforts to combat, fat, combat fast, false news and misinformation on its news feed. Okay. Um, yes, t uh, Bree has his there, hand there's up. There's more. There's, yeah. there's yeah. more in that. Yeah, line. okay, that yeah. kind of explains it. Bree has his yeah. hand up. Yeah, I mean, I saw the, you know, those photos as well. and uh, But the thing is, is, I would just have to say, I saw AOC grilling Mark Zuckerberg as well. And uh, she can, I, if I were Mark Zuckerberg, you know, she asked, can I do X, Y, Z? If I were Mark Zuckerberg, I would say, well, AOC, absolutely. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> and she does. Yeah, and she does. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, yeah that, uh, that was Phil. That was Phil being Phil. Yep. For Phil's sake. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see, what happens to, see what happens to your computer when you download that bullshit? Yeah. It's like... Yeah. It's like uh, <laughs> no, it, it, it's been happening before I downloaded that. Uh, it's been happening That's the other bullshit, then. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know why I'm getting that. And it's and I looked it up online, and it seems as though it, it's some sort of virus. Uh, it, it's pretty benign. It just shuts the computer. And well, that's not benign. Well, don't go to those websites. PC. You're getting all that crap from those crappy websites you're going to. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, at least I'm not Air getting that left-wing crap. Well, maybe you are. <laughs> <laughs> getting that right-wing crap. Yeah. It's got viruses attached to it. Anyway, um, uh, how do you... Um, how, how does everybody feel about... Uh, the fact that we lost an ISIS terrorist because of that Rambo-type person, Donald Trump. God, he did such <laughs> a good on. job, I, didn't he? I, he did I such a good sweat. job. Yes, absolutely. He, did he acted sweat. like he was... He did it himself. He was describing it like it was a movie. Yeah. Turns out, by the way, that he wasn't there like... Um, uh, Todd, I'll get to you. I see you raising your hand. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it, it wasn't like he was, uh, he made it seem as though he was watching it like uh, Obama watched yeah. the killing of Osama bin Laden. But actually, he was out at the time playing golf, playing and he went golf. back mm -hmm. and saw a video of it. I thought he was watching it live. No. No, sir. He signed off on it three days before it happened. He didn't no, sign no, off no, on no, shit. No, no, They've been doing no, that. They've been, been working on that for months. Book and two, he almost years fucked ago, it up. Four years ago. What? What did you say? He's been on this mission for how many years? Hmm. Yeah. He he said that. Yeah. He this almost been, blew he's the been whole laying in bed operation. thinking about this for years. He almost screwed it up by getting out of Turkey. Yeah. And who right. was it that actually found him? Cur the Kurds. The Kurds. Uh, but we he didn't do Kurds, fucking do shit, Phil. No, he's just taking credit he did for, for it. the curves. What he yeah. was supposed no. to do, uh, no, Phil. Know, Phil, uh, Phil, shut up a second. I, I'm talking, okay? He didn't do anything. Uh, you know, he. Oh, now he gets pissy. Uh, well, I'm pretend like I'm talking. I don't know, pretend like I'm talking. He doesn't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I'll, and, I'll and give. I'm, I'll give Trump credit. He gave the go ahead and we got him and that's awesome. But yeah, he he was he has no class. I mean, did you expect class? Well, supposedly in his description of what went on, he said more than is proper for him to say for the the security, security of the country. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, cuz he but he played it like he was like he was Rambo. And you he know. made up all that bullshit about him by Baghdadi running, screaming, and crying. That he had no idea what happened. None of that's recorded anywhere. Yeah. He just made it up. He pulled it out of his ass. Yeah. So well, he, most of his speeches are pulled out of his ass. Yeah. And you could tell he totally tell when he went off prompter. Oh, by the way, t uh, Todd had his hand up earlier, and I should go to Todd. Yes, yeah. Todd. Oh, oh, me? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm just, I'm just playing. But, 
But yeah, um, you guys are all right. I have my points. Y'all pretty much all of y'all made um, from the screaming, you know, uh, in the tunnel, which none of the people uh, had any uh, mics on. So nobody can hear any of that. So as everybody said, you know, besides Phil, you know, Trump lied. And um, what my main concern was that I don't know if a lot of y'all heard it, that the Russians that are friends with Trump turned around and said, this is all bullshit. Did anybody catch that? No. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the Russians, um, I, I don't think it was Putin, but it was like the government. Mm-hmm. said that, no, we don't know nothing about that. They didn't ask us to fly in our airspace. They didn't ask us nothing. Huh. <laughs> you know, because I remember a while back, I don't know if anybody, y'all caught it, but isn't this the second time we killed this motherfucker? Well, he's he's sixth time. So you'll believe the Russians time. now, huh? Say again? You'll believe the Russians now, but, uh, uh, you know, when they say it's bullshit, but when uh, they say that they didn't interfere with our elections... That you didn't believe. Well, let me say, <laughs> let me tell, let me let me tell you something, Phil. Okay, I'm a truck driver. Yes, and um, I drive around the United States with a lot of Russians, a lot of Muslims, a lot of everything. I trust them, motherfuckers. Okay, now um, as far as the government, uh, I don't really trust ours or theirs because I mean everything's a little squeaky. If you really think about it, squeaky. Now. I'd rather trust somebody that's looking me face to face and being honest with me than uh, your buddy Trump that's um, telling lies 24-7, bro. Come on, man. Just, you're Tell just believing, you're just believing the propaganda. That was true. One word that he didn't lie. So me let me ask you something. Time. Let me ask Go you ahead. something. Yeah. Adam Schiff and uh, Nadler said that they had proof that Trump was uh, colluding with the Russians. Mm-hmm. Where 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 is that one? Now you know they haven't come out with any proof. Now I I'd like to see them get prosecuted for uh, the false statements and the lies that they the Democrats are doing. Proof. And you're getting fed that's more information by those people and then repeating it, regurgitating it like it's truth. So they just because they didn't have enough evidence to prosecute doesn't mean there was no collusion. Thank you. And they do get more. Yeah, I thought every, due process. Every, by the way, when it comes to when it comes to drinking the Kool Aid, Phil, you're not I one to talk. <laughs> uh, I thought you're innocent until proven guilty, but oh, only if you're a Democrat. We didn't say he was guilty. Yeah. We just say there's suspicion enough to see if there is a, a, a reason uh, you, to impeach him. You're, you're just trying to convict them in the media. You know what it is? You know what it is, Phil? They're taking their time at impeaching him by going through all the steps. And what you're complaining about is that we're not going fast enough. You know, uh, and I have Phil, no he problem has with admitted the admitted multiple crimes. He admitted it. Of course, he's fucking guilty if he gets up and says, I'm guilty. I did it. Which is what you had a military anything. you had a military guy today in front of that committee a guy who has a purple heart that which goes a lot more than Trump well, uh, never yeah, trumpers right. can have a purple he, heart no no a never trumper is a term oh, that oh, Trump oh. made up and now you're spitting out the Kool-Aid Phil uh you just don't you just don't like no, hearing no, the truth no, no. He, you can't handle he's the He's not truth. a never trumper he is a he is a military Jack guy <laughs> With with a, a, a vaulted military history, who said he heard the call and was in on the call, and that in fact that transcript that the White House passed out. Wait a minute, let me finish, Phil. That that uh, that transcript that the White House passed out wasn't complete. It wasn't everything that went on, and he told this committee some of the things that went on that weren't in that transcript. Did you hear exactly what he said? His quote was. That he was afraid that the uh, that the conversation was going to make it difficult for the uh, the progress that he and his group were making with Ukraine. He had no beef with anything. He was just worried about his 
uh, issues and what he was working on with Ukraine and didn't want to make his well, thing you're, more you're, difficult. These are the, you're, you're just simply spitting out. Russia. You're not spitting that's out your true. own thoughts. You're spitting out the Republican talking points, and that's what they were today. Well, your talking points, you made them up. They're unique to you. I believe me. You, I don't even watch the fucking news, Phil. From I, don't, I don't watch the news except for the 630 news, so I get well, it. Well, that's obvious it, because you don't know what you're talking about. If, you know, oh, maybe boy. if you did watch the news, you would un and you watch the real news, you you'd know what you yeah, were talking about. Fox is the real yeah, Fox News, yeah. Yeah, Fox News. Real yeah, they're not real biased. Real Listen, Fox news, isn't, Fox news isn't it, Fox News isn't know that much less about reality than people that don't watch news at all. In all deference to Fox years. News, they aren't as into Trump as they once were. Okay, yeah, exactly. They're they're Didn't even they starting to Shepard defect. For that? What? Mm -hmm. What did you say, Jeff? Shepard Smith. They didn't fight. Quit. He quit. He did not quit. He was forced out. Don't you remember the vice uh, the uh, one of Trump's cl Clooney's went over there and talked to Roger Ailes. Not Roger I Ailes. Think the, uh, Roger Ailes is Murdoch. There. Murdoch. I don't think Murdoch even likes Trump. Oh, he does. <laughs> no, not really. You know, I mean, it, Murdoch, Murdoch's agenda Albert. doesn't include somebody like Donald Trump. Hours after Trump's his, crony went over there, Shepard was fired. His kids, uh, Murdoch's kids are running Fox, and mm -hmm. they don't like Trump. They don't, they didn't like Roger Ailes, and, uh, and they, you know, pretty much changed uh, what you hear today on Fox. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what? Is, what is that exactly? Yes, uh, 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 I saw three. the trailer for Bombshell. I couldn't tell. I, I thought it was real. I mean, mm -hmm. they looked the actresses, uh, actors they got to portray the anchors looked just like them. You know, and they act just like them, and it's a little confusing. Well, I haven't seen the movie yet. Yeah. Oh, I saw the trailer. Yeah, the trailer. Did you did you see the trailer for No Safe Spaces? Bree? Uh no. it's uh Adam Carolla and uh, uh Prager, Dennis Prager. Oh, uh I just came out on the 25th. Of the mm -hmm. Things that you guys would see there. But oh. I see a lot of things that you would not see. Yeah. Yeah, it's called No Safe Spaces. Let's see if I can get it to you. Why should we watch that piece of shit? Why do I want to watch uh, Adam Carolla? It, it talks about the kind of uh, it, things that the left is uh, doing to the right uh, as uh, and trying to in, in, Wait, inhibit. Adam uh, Carolla speech. is involved in something like that. Yeah, Adam Carolla and Dennis Prager. Oh my God, uh, Dennis Prager. Uh, yeah, somebody yeah. I can really believe in. Well, I'll send yeah. it. To you uh, you, yeah, you live you with go. Dennis Prager down in down in the Southland, don't you, uh, uh, Mike? Uh, I uh, he I don't think he's on the air anymore. Uh, he has uh, uh, YouTube's uh, channels, I think. Yeah, so does everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's a sign that you're a failure, and I admit it. Uh, <laughs> no, no. So. But they all have, you're right. They do all have podcasts. It's, but I like the podcasts. It's like different radio things like that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, for us, we do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it is just there's just so many podcasts out there yeah. now, and and nobody's making money, and nobody's making a living, and there's no broadcasting left. You know, it's terrible. Broadcasting's going away. It's pretty well disappeared. You know, I'm surprised. I, mean, I like listening to the old radio shows. So I'll just listen to it. Yeah. If I can, like old news clips. It's nice that you're working though, Mike. You know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but I mean, half of what I do is for Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of science that goes into you know not just the content, but like the shape of the video mm -hmm. and how. You know what the dimensions are and what colors and uh you know the, the what appeals to people who who take in that stuff it's it's mm -hmm. fascinating hey look Bree's cleaning his windows <laughs> what are you no, doing Bree? 
No, I'm cleaning my whiteboard. It's impossible. The last person who had it just treated it very poorly. Don't you hate when people just... use permanent markers on the whiteboard instead of the erasable ones? Yeah, yeah. that wasn't this. What what she did was she put a lot of like taped items. She would tape things so the tape residue would stick there. Yeah. You know. Goof off. I was never part of the whiteboard culture. <laughs> you know. Man, I have to have it because I got to explain things to people. And it really helps when I have the board right here. Yep. Let's see. I have a couple items here. Um, guess what? Uh, Los Angeles rejected a sexual battery case against Kevin Spacey. No. So here's another wow. case. Is that the innocent. second one? This is the yeah. second one that has been dropped. Only this one is because the accuser has died. Oh, oh. <laughs> and I guess the number one suspect is Kevin Spacey, I would imagine. You know. Do you think he'll ever work again, Alex? No. Oh, this is a guy that got convicted in the court of public opinion. Yeah. 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 Hey, Louis C.K. is working. Is yeah. he where? Uh, McDonald's. Yeah. Are you doing clubs? Yeah. He's in clubs. He's in clubs, but he's not doing the big venues. At the yeah, moment. he's not doing the big venues, and he had so much going for him at that point oh. that his whole life has been upended. Said, yeah. By what I consider to be a minor story, you know. I never understood that, Alex. What did the, they said? What was it? Those two ladies who said that he. Jerked off in front of them? No, he didn't even jerk off. He didn't even jerk off. He showed him his penis after first asking him if they minded if he showed him their pe his penis. <laughs> so they, and they nobody know. said no. So he so pulled his penis out, and I mean, now he, uh, the, uh, he, uh, the Me Too movement pilloried him. Well, because you know. they think that he was a man of uh, control and you know he was their... Superior. Yeah, they had no ability to say no. Well, you had the ability to walk out of the room, yeah, I mean, or to I say, you know, he uh, asked them. They said yes. They didn't say no. Once a very major broadcast executive came on to uh, Lori Thompson, my newswoman in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Boy, it's a squeaky noise. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 came on to Lori Thompson by at a a shooting of um, HBO's One Night Stand that we were that I was doing. Um, he trapped her in a dressing room and came on to her, and he closed the door behind him, and then he lunged towards her, oh and God. she lunged the other way and said, "This is perfectly unacceptable." Open the door and walked out. Wow, now, why didn't her. any of these That's... ladies, when he pulled out his penis, say? This is perfectly unacceptable, and walk out. Yeah, I mean, he did. Plus, yes, plus crazy what? what? He gets given a bad time because he was a gentleman and asked. <laughs> you, you know, in all the these <laughs> renditions of guys who have been inappropriate with one, women, I never heard of one of them who asked permission first. Right. <laughs> you know. I think he got a bum deal, and I, I I have to say that because I also happen to like Louis C.K. Oh, and he and Al Franken, that was fucked up. Yeah. 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 Well, Franken is really, it feels bad that he didn't stick around now. Does he? Yeah. He That's said, I should, I should have fought it. And if he had fought it, I think he probably would have come out okay, you know? Yeah. So, what the hell, you know? Uh, it's just uh, you got Todd with a hand up. Yes, Todd. Oh, you can say it. Okay, cool. Um, no, but yeah, well, Al Franken, he's thinking about trying to do it again, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. And um, he got a podcast. Um, I listen to from time to time, but it's like you know, just, just like I listen to the replay of it. And um, yeah, you know, he 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 definitely should have fought that. He uh, his his own people put him under the bus, and that was wrong. Yep. Yeah. That was real wrong. Well, and yeah. the, and the junk with um, what you were saying earlier. I mean, you know, with 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 the um, comedian Louis C.K. I mean, that was that all happened in his apartment. 
uh, his hotel room or something mm-hmm. like that. Part, yeah, the yeah. hotel room. So all I had to do was walk out the fucking hotel room, and ain't none of them. Phil grabbed him by the pussy. Yeah, and and they never said they felt trapped. Exactly. They, well, they were waiting for the room service. Nobody wanted to miss the pizzas. Yeah. You need to wait for their food. Fun. Okay, we can leave now. <laughs> Oh, the mighty Phil. He's the guy with his dick out. What? <laughs> Why are you like that, Phil? I just want to know. Yeah. I, I you mean, know, are you blind? Are you deaf? I mean, I, is, is, I, is you, I cannot oh, see. Are you slow? Yeah, I, I thought you see. had daughters. Jeez. I mean, I like you a lot, Phil. You're a cool dude. You helped me out getting on here and everything like that. But you, you I don't understand. You, you. The <laughs> have no sense of humor. None. None whatsoever. It's such a stupid topic. It's such a stupid thing. If you can't have a little bit of humor around it, because I don't treat it seriously, because you guys are hysterical. I you guys know what it are, is. You're all fucked up. And you know, I, know so I make is, a joke Phil. out of it because I think I it is it, a Phil. joke. I got it, Phil. I know what it is. See, we're both deep sea divers, and um, you didn't get enough oxygen to come back up. <laughs> <laughs> it's the you know, too much helium. Come on, sure. See, remember that's the humor. That's the humor. Keep your pants on. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. You see that tank? I, I got a tank there with enriched air, more oxygen. See it? I can't right. see anything. All I'm looking at is legs and, <laughs> and whatever the hell you have up. I don't Time see. Time to open it. that shit up. Huh? Yeah. Well, That's how I test my regulator. Yeah, you might you might want to check it. I think it's bad, it's sir. Bad <laughs> By the way, we lost a uh, um, uh, uh, how can I call him? A real character in show business. Uh, Robert Evans is dead. Oh yeah, wow. yeah. Uh, eighty nine. I, I don't know if you if you ever saw the film The Kid Stays in the Picture, which yeah. is his autobiography. But he was a real character. Was he crazy, Alex? I'm reading a book. And he's in it a little bit. Easy Rider, Raging Bolts. I, I, I don't know if he was crazy. I don't know if you call that crazy. You know, uh, he, eccentric. he was. He was. He was an eccentric. You know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he was involved in some pretty interesting movies. You know, he brought The Godfather uh, to Paramount, and he brought uh, Chinatown to Paramount. So. Yeah. You know, these were films that, uh, you know, he was, especially Chinatown, he had a major credit on it, you know, so it's, uh, you know, it was, it's sorry to see him go. Good, uh, good producer. Good That's director. That's movies were movies. Chinatown, great movie. It's movies Chinatown, are still baby. movies. It's just yeah. they're on Netflix now. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. You know. I mean, you got you got Scorsese doing his movie on Netflix this weekend. I'm uh, waiting to see that. I hope it's good. I hope they're not pumping this up as a fake. I think it probably sucks. That's what I was gonna say. And, and I have to say, probably is not as good as a Marvel movie. Who's got his hand up? Jeff had his hey, hand up. Jeff. Okay, Jeff. Yes, Jeff. So, how old was Joker. he that he died? I think he was. It was 89. Yeah. I think so. You know, he's he was old enough. You know, yeah. he, he had his he had his run, uh, and uh, um, you know he was uh, he was he was good at what he did. You know, so you can't blame him. He start he, they they discovered him in a swimming pool. In a swimming in, in L.A. Pool? Yeah, he was just such a good looking guy that I can't remember what movie star, female movie star, took him. I think it was to a studio, one of the studios, maybe twentieth. And they gave him a contract just on his looks. On his looks, they didn't even care if he can even right. read. Right. Just he was. I think up. he was in the oh, Sun Also good. Rises with Ava Gardner as the bullfighter. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he he made quite a he was he made a few movies and then he went into producing, and he became a real. He, he, I think he became the head of Paramount at one time. Uh, yeah, he did. In yeah. the book I'm reading, they said he was fighting with Coppola. And he's writing over casting of The Godfather, Alex. They were going back and forth. Well, there was, this, this was, there was a lot stuff. of arguing about that. You know, like they didn't want Pacino. Yeah, but, but also, they, Robert Evans Pacino. made that film happen. Yeah, but they he didn't want they didn't they didn't want pa- they didn't want Pacino because he wasn't a big star. But then when they got Brando, 
They figured yeah. we have a marquee name now, you know. Yep. And they said, go ahead, have have your way with Pacino. And they didn't, according to the book, they didn't want Brando at all. The head of uh, Paramount, the guy who owned the company. I until think, they showed him a daily of him getting into character. Yeah, Cold and I think character. also because uh, uh, Brando was not reliable. Alex, was he that crazy? They said he would just go over, like, just show up late, go over budget. Like, he would never do anything. At well, the to end begin with, life. you know, he read all, had his own island. He read read all his lines off of cue cards. I, I couldn't believe that. I was like, holy yeah. shit. You no, know, he read his lines off of cue cards. But that's why he was always kind of looking up and looking down, because that's where they kept the cue cards. Didn't uh, yeah. his son have some issues? Some, uh, did oh, somebody yeah. get killed? It was Christopher. He, I think he, he killed, killed the daughter. He, he killed his own daughter, his own sister. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And uh, is that when Brando bought the island and, and had him on that island? Uh, to I can't remember. Trouble, if he, I think he bought it before that. Uh. And I think, did the murder take place in the island? No, the murder took place in Hollywood. And she was the daughter of that Tahitian actress who was in uh, Mutiny on the Bounty with with him. Wow. Uh, yeah. And uh, they had a daughter together, and then he had a son by somebody else. I mean, he had so many kids and wives and so on. And the kid, uh, the kid killed the sister. Wow. You know. Talk about sibling rivalry. It, oh yeah, well, it wasn't a sibling rivalry. It was something, I can't remember. Do you remember any of that, Michael? Or was what, it drugs? What, or? what it was exactly? No. no. He well, there was a drug component to it, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, 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 uh, Kevin, you're kind of quiet tonight. Any any feelings about the news and what's going on? No, nah, you guys probably hit most of it already before I got on. It was I was I was pleasantly uh, entertained about the uh, baseball game incident. Yes. Was, was, uh, uh, was that the Trump incident, or is there something? Yeah, the tonight? one where he sold out that whole stadium and had all his friends there, and they all told him to fuck off. Oh, that was sold out. That's right. <laughs> you know how he has all those people always waiting outside his, well, his bet, uh, venues I, and yeah, and, that's rude. Know, waiting to get in and and selling all those tickets. That was a and, sound effect put in by Fox. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. The, the, the thing is that. I think this is the last time you're going to see Trump appear anywhere that he doesn't have control over. Exactly. Yeah, smart. You know. Exactly. Uh, because he finds out exactly how people feel about him, and he doesn't like that. I mean, I missed it because uh, on Sunday when I saw him, uh, when I saw him, you know, gloating Last about how he killed uh, uh, Osama Bodati or whatever the hell his name Baghdad. is. Yeah. When I, I saw him gloating about that, I said, "This is enough," and I just shut it off. And and I missed the whole baseball thing the next day. Yeah. And uh, when when I tonight? talked to my friend yeah. last night, I went, "Oh my god, I missed it!" So I went onto YouTube and I caught it, and it was great. Is there a I game? Watched it about is four the series or five times. over? No. Kevin? No. Is game six is tonight. Oh, who won that? Uh, it's it's evened up. They're going to Game Seven. It, well, it says it's uh, final uh, is seven uh, Nationals, oh. two Astros. Ooh. Wow! Wow! Yeah, so it's three three going to Game Seven. seven. Three three. So it's going to go to Game Seven. All or the, nothing. The, the visitors have won every game. Now you're a big baseball guy, Charlie. Does anybody give a shit about this series? Because it's getting low ratings. It's getting very low ratings because yeah. it's not New York or Chicago or L.A. in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think everybody's tired of the Astros. It's the first time the Nationals have been in the series, right? No, it's uh, so no, uh, they won the first time for the Nationals. Washington no. was in it once before, but not as the Nationals. Am I right? Yeah, about this that? is actually the Expo. So no, this is really the Expo. Yeah, the Nationals the first time, but Astros have been in it several times. The, the Astros have been in it several times. Yeah, yeah. So was, is anyone in, is anyone interested in the announcement from HBO today about their new HBO Max? It, well, well, got, well, got we, another one. Well, we know about the highest price streaming service right now. It's higher than Netflix at fourteen ninety nine. What do you get? But it's basically all of Warner Brothers. You know, Friends, right. Big Bang Theory, West Wing, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, South Park. And if you already have HBO, I think you will get HBO Max for free. Yeah, there's, I, um, you, you'll just I, simply I, be able to you'll be, you'll simply be able to upgrade to it. Uh, you get the I, library I've been, of Sesame Street, oh, Sesame. ABC shows like Doctor Who. 
The Office. Yeah, it's the all the regular. Well, it's because it, it's because Disney bought up. It's because Disney bought up all these companies. It's like Marvel. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, um, uh, and then, of course, Disney Plus, which I yeah. decided to subscribe mm -hmm. to, although it turns out now because I have Fios, I will get a year free of it. Oh, not you. Uh, has, has a new Star it. Wars series, and it's yeah, you know it's it's and dealing with all this all this different stuff. The um, the Warner's thing, uh, the uh, HBO Max, uh, will be supposedly if you already have HBO, like on cable or whatever, yeah. you'll get it for free. Yeah, yeah. And starting in May. Yeah. What is um, uh, but you know, Apple TV starts next week. Mm -hmm. Disney wow. Plus starts in two weeks. Yeah, two uh, weeks as well. You know, these guys are all going to be nickeling and diming you to death. Eventually, it's going to be yeah. the same price of you know. Well, HB, uh, 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 Apple TV starts uh, Friday. Yeah, and Apple TV First. will be free for a month, so you can watch all the binge watch all their shows, and they look to be pretty good, actually. I mean, it's interesting. You know, I'll watch Jennifer Aniston and anything. Jesus. So, what will this do to Netflix? Exactly. Yeah, is Netflix going to get bought? You think by one of them? The continent? I don't know. No, I don't think uh, Netflix is a juggernaut in and of itself. Oh, look, we're looking at Malaysia, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking at Kuala Lumpur. Downtown Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Is that near New Jersey? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like New Jersey from here, except I think the mountains in the background look a little more foreboding. That's uh, cool. Yeah, but uh, uh, I'm going to try the Disney thing. Uh, if, if I get the Disney thing for free, I'll keep it up. Plus, if you buy the Disney thing, let's say you get the Disney thing, you can throw th three other people onto your subscription. I That's got the cool. $45 Hulu thing, and so far I'm very happy with it. I got rid of Sling, mm -hmm. uh, which seemed to be falling apart and losing channels uh, left and right. Really? And, uh, the, yeah, the Hulu thing uh, is uh, is much better. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot more stuff. Now, granted, it's 20 bucks more a month than, uh, than uh, Sling, but it's... You get local channels too, right? Yes, yeah, I get... Uh, well, uh, I'm getting national news channels... Uh, I don't think I'm getting local. There's something else on the Roku that you can get the local news channels. Uh, you know, when I want to watch those, mm. uh, you get some programming of local stuff, but not not all of. It's not all day. Yeah, but there are a lot of other services that do exactly the same thing. Yeah, like what? Yeah. Okay, but, YouTube uh, TV. Uh, YouTube uh, has one that does it. Does the same thing. I heard thing. YouTube TV was very good. Uh, some. Uh, some economist guy, uh, Horowitz, or one of those guys, was saying uh, that uh, YouTube TV was the best for the money. Yeah. So who knows? You know. But I mean, it it it, it will. They will be nickel and diming you to death pretty soon. You know. And uh, they're all going to be fighting for the same space. So they're all going to be giving you the cheapest price they possibly can. And even though HBO is expensive. It's no more than getting HBO right. your, with your cable system. Cable, so yeah. you know, yeah, HBO with the with the Hulu is fifteen bucks a month, I think. Yeah, with the Hulu? No, not with no, the Hulu. You uh, you have the Hulu oh, and then you yeah. subscribe. Same thing no, with the Phil, YouTube TV. Uh, oh, oh, that. Okay, that's a different thing altogether. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. That's our theme play. Boy, well, that went fast. It's been a nice night wow. tonight. Uh, um. I want to thank first of all uh, uh, our. Uh, uh, I want to thank Kevin for being here, and Jeff for being here, Can and Todd for being here, and Charlie for being here, and then uh, 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 Michael Klein and Tony Magno and Bree from Malaysia and Phil from Hunger. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad you get to experience a true asshole once in a while. Yeah. You know, and as up long until, as you up, up until now, right it's up, just been me an amateur good. asshole. So you know, <laughs> everybody, I think I, I I learned from you. Everybody <laughs> should give a big wave goodbye, <laughs> and I will give you a big Who's wave goodbye boss, too. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. Uh, that's our uh, that's our group for tonight. 
Uh, and uh, that's the way it, it, that's the way we roll, folks. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I gotta I gotta do something with my Skype here. Hold on a second. Where is that? Son of a bitch! I can't I can't find my uh, uh, my. Uh, oh well, what the hell? I'll just. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, I. I forget how to do things. I'm, I'm just starting to fall apart, folks. Anyway, stay tuned for Jack Bishop. He's next with The Intersection. Tomorrow night at uh, 8.30, it's the Franchise MC uh, with uh, the uh, sports show, The Arena. And then at the 9.30, well, we'll probably have a rerun of, uh, of The Exchange here because there's a fire out where uh, Damien is. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, yeah, you know what to do. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.